country of Amestris, alchemy is the prevailing science. Much like in real life, many an alchemist take their research too far and someone pays the price, no matter how educated, no matter how prepared, and no matter how young. Yeah, and that definitely applies to Edward and Alphonse Elric, two very skilled alchemists who suffered from Bambi syndrome. Well, they lost her, and when Edward and Alphonse tried using alchemy to bring her back, things took a catastrophic turn, especially for Alphonse. Edward might have lost his left leg, but Alphonse lost his entire body, forcing Ed to fuse El's soul to a suit of armor using a blood seal at the cost of... Edward Elric was a young man who awaited a glorious future. He loved his mother as if there were no tomorrow. Together with his brother Alphonse Elric practiced the aforementioned alchemy. They did not take it so seriously, but after their mother died they looked for a way to revive it. That would be the fatal mistake they would commit, marking them for life. Since, even they knew it, alchemy had strictly the norm of not committing human transmutation, but they went through the eggs and they did it anyway. Predominantly this happens due to the exchange that takes place behind the door of truth. Souls, bodies, and others are required to go through this. Edward trying to bring his mother sacrificed his own leg and arms. Set to the body of Alphonse who I am sealed in a close armor. Basically, when you make exchanges, these monsters are created by taking a part that you have exchanged, like Ira, who took its foot and arm. The truth is that yes, but after this series of events Edward would get to do his own to recover their parts and the body of his brother looking for the so-called Philosopher's Stone, which destroys the equivalent exchange and makes you a god. Around his journey as a state alchemist he would learn the science of alchemy learned and reinforced later by Izumi Curtis. Edward's alchemy is much more advanced when he sees the door of truth. Edward can create things from the manipulation of chemical elements. Among his creations are pillars, hands, spears, machine guns, cannons, swords, umbrellas, shields, walls, and etc. Only the imagination of Ed can determine it. All this just putting his two hands together. Generally, Ed's alchemy tends to be the most resistant and powerful, being able to mold everything at will. With it, he was able to stop powerful contending people, such as Father Cornello, all the homunculus, with different types of alchemy. Even he become Harry's Potter most wanted thing. A fucking philosopher's stone. What insane. Edward can have even matches with beings that can easily break huge structures, manipulate flares, and can even react to bullets from experienced lieutenants. Stay with several clones at once. He even maintained a fight with an old doppelganger of his vanished father, Van Hohenstein. Father. The good thing is that, at the end of the series, you do not even need an auto mail, since after an arduous process, I carry out the transmutation to yourself. You know, brother, I don't think he was really...